My producer Steven is a bit of a stickler about time, so there's no point in penning a snappy intro. We've got to go right back to highlights, guys. Fruitland hosting Kimberly. The Grizz get out to a 14-0 lead thanks in part to the ground game. It was 14-zip at halftime when these kids take over the field. There's a bear, and I think I see Luigi back there. Nice costumes, everyone. Uh, a little later in the game, Tristan Colhanic uh, is about to have some back problems. That's courtesy of that Fruitland defensive back negating the pass there. Fruitland goes on to beat Kimberly 34-14. The Grizz get the winner of tomorrow's matchup between Timberlake and Payette. Meanwhile, on the other side of the 3A bracket, Shelley blew out Buell 69-7 uh, late last night. The Russets get Gooding, who beat Parma 64-13. South Fremont ebbed American Falls 39-6. We go to 2A, Nampa Christian hosting Grangeville, the school that eliminated the Trojans from the state tournament in each of the last two years. 14-7 visitors, and we pick it up in the second. Bulldogs quarterback Leighton Harris finds Michael Wilson open in the end zone. Grangeville goes up two scores. The Trojans looking for an answer. Steve Tiersma to Connor Hensley for a first down. And later in the drive, Tiersma airs it out again. This time, three Grangeville defenders have a monster mash in the secondary. It was not a graveyard smash. All three would be fine. Nampa Christian came up empty on that possession, allowing Grangeville to deliver a dagger before half. Wilson gets under center and converts a third and long, and with one second left before recess, Harris hits Wilson for another TD. Grangeville goes on to beat Nampa Christian 47-13. Grangeville will face either Bear Lake or North Fremont in the next round. Elsewhere in the 2A bracket, Westside stomps Salmon 62-14 last night. West Jefferson crushes Wendell 50-14. Aberdeen over fourth, first, that's a weird score, 25-12. Cole Valley falls at Declo 55-12. Down in the 1A D1 bracket, don't do meth, kids, not even once. Kamei visiting Horseshoe Bend, the Cubs with the ball. Parker Whipple finds Zach Wilkins, who finds our photog James. He might need a new costume after that one. Later in the drive, Kamei keeps playing Whipple ball, far sideline and in for six. The Cubbies take the early lead, but that would not fly with Manny Sancho. Check out this run. Garrison Bretz, uh, try again. Taylor McAllister, no dice. Bailey Christofferson, uh, maybe you'll have better luck with your country music career. Sancho wills his way for a first down, and then later, Sancho hits Matt Harold for a touch. Horseshoe band on the board, and as Sublime once said, someone put a cap in Sancho. The Mustangs QB hits Blake Miller for another score, but in the end, Kamei, too much. Horseshoe Bend falls 62-38.